Hey everyone, it's Eric Hunter here, and we're gonna talk about pendulums today, another pendulum video, here with Robin Shade. Hi guys. Hey, and uh, so Robin, how do you get your charts on your phone? Because we're, we're offering this new program, Decision Making with Pendulums, and we have one, Effective Dowsing with Pendulums, and so mm -hmm. there's now a need for me to have a chart on my phone. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I've been before. using my charts on my phone for yeah. so long. This is like the best thing to have on your phone. So do you have a... Yeah, I, got, I have an iPhone right? here. Okay, so if you have an Apple phone and you like screenshot um, a chart, okay. or save your photo, you know, okay. like you take the class on Saturday, there's, it's uh, coming with um, at least two charts, I know for sure. Um, so you can take those charts, you're gonna save the, the image. Okay, so I emailed it to myself here. Yeah. So, so you I'll have just, that image. So when save you it. save your image, it's gonna to go to your main all photos album. Okay. It's like yeah, the main so one. I got these options here, so I'm gonna just scroll over. On, it's like on the bottom, it's showing yeah. me where I can put save it. Photo. I, I just clicked the photo and it said save the photo. So right. it says save to files, oh, save image. Yeah, right. there's like a little save image button. I guess I'll just hit The that. save image is going to save it to your main all photos page. Okay, I'll just do it right now. Boom. All right, so I did the save image. So okay. go so into go my to photos. your um your albums. Okay, yeah, let me get into al let me get into photos first. Okay. So there's my photos. All right, yeah. so I see it. It showed mm -hmm. up there. So So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a so new go to album. albums. Yeah. Okay, so I'll go on the bottom there to albums. Mm -hmm. And you're going to want to create a new album. Okay, so I'm in albums. I'll, uh, let's see, um, edit. No, how do you create new album? Well, when you go to pictures. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. when you hit pictures. Okay. Oh, wait, I see a little plus button on the albums. Yep, hit that. Okay, so I'll hit that plus. Mm -hmm. New album. All right. Yeah, yeah. New album. So you're going to create a new album and then you're going to name it. Mine is named Pendulum Charts. Okay. I'll do the same thing. Okay. So now I've got an album, Pendulum Charts, and it's empty. Okay. Good. So what you're going to want to do is you're going go to want to back to uh, go back to your all out. This is where all your photos are. Okay. Go back to the photos. Find so the picture. Go to your all photos page. Okay. And then find the picture. Um, yeah, make sure you see where the picture is. And on the top right, there's okay. a button right here that says select. Oh, select. Okay. All right. Select. So I'll hit select. Um, then you're going to select your photo. Just tap it. Okay. I did that. Put a little X and next then to it. on check. the bottom, it'll say add to. Oh, okay. And then you're going to add it to the album that you just created called pendulum charts. Oh yeah. Just dropped it right in there. And okay. that's it. So right. the most important thing that you want to do when you drop a photo into a, an album, a separate album, is if you delete that photo from your main page, it's going to delete it from your album. Okay. So don't just keep that photo in your photo. Keep, yeah. Right. Keep it in there. So now I've got it here. So that, that's pretty handy. So now I can just douse the chart whenever I need right. And I just do it directly over that chart. And the, the great thing about this is it gives you the ability to like blow it up or go sideways um, so you can get like really in there. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Whoa, look yeah. at that. That's psychedelic. Mm -hmm. So if I'm not sure um, like which color, then I go down to the bottom there and then I blow it up and then I can like really see where oh, it's Okay, going. cool. Yeah. It really gives you that ability to um, blow it up. And then you don't have to carry like a small book. Yeah, no, that makes and sense. you don't have to print this out. In okay, color. cool. And That's then you don't have handy. to try to like carry charts around with you in a small book or something. Right, yeah, for the decision making, we have two, well, yeah, we have two main charts, the circle chart, the semicircle, and then effective dowsing is pretty much the same thing, except they're different charts in each course. Same basic chart, but different readings you take with them right and then what i do also is since i have a um uh, an album already set up for pendulum charts if there's something that like certain commands that i want to remember or certain buzzwords the beginning of making commands i um type it out on my computer and then i take a photo and then i save that in there so it's just a really quick 
handy way to get to the things that you use all the time. Um, oh. It's always with you. And so you, it's just really good to have a, a pendulum chart um, album on your phone. Cool. So yeah, that was pretty easy. And I'm sure it's, it's probably easy to figure out too if you have an Android. So, you know, whatever, just basically get a picture of the chart. Um, you can just do a screenshot, you know, and we'll be giving you a handout when you take the course. You can just take a screenshot of the handout or just, you know, with the iPhone, you just mash the lower button and the side button. Boom. You can get a picture of the screen um, and then put in your photos and then add it to an album and you're good to go. All right, cool. That's awesome. Thanks, Robin. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully that was handy. And um, yeah, get your, you know, if you have a better way of doing it, just put it in the comments below and we'll, we'll do it. All right. Yeah. Bye. See you Bye, later. guys.